Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video which she just requested this yesterday and I wanted to fit it in quickly while it's still cold out. This is definitely a cold weather topic. So anyways, um, I am here to talk about some of my favorite incense fragrances that I have in my collection. So I do, kind of like patchouli, I do have a lot of fragrances that has that have incense as a note in them. And I've got a couple here that I wouldn't say are incense based. They just, uh, but the incense brings something really beautiful to them. And then some of these are like powerhouse incense fragrances. So anyways, I'm gonna jump right in. The first one, this is such an odd fragrance. And every time I talk about this, there's like a lot of interest around it, but then, um, I don't know, and except for the person that told me about this fragrance, I don't know that I've ever met anybody that actually likes this fragrance. So this is definitely not a safe perfume. This is from the a house called Rihanna, not Rihanna the singer, but it's, a, it's Rihanna spelt in a different way. And this is called Velvet Amber Oud. This, oh my gosh, I adore this fragrance, but it is so, strange it's fresh but at the same time it smells dark it's got this really beautiful incense note it's slightly woody but at the same time it's got this really gorgeous light like airy quality in the top. It's slightly sweet, but not sweet in the way that like a gourmand fragrance is sweet. It's almost more of like an incense-y sweet. It's just beautiful. I adore this fragrance. It's an absolute beast. I have to be in the mood to wear this because if you spray this on, you are going to smell like this for 12 hours at least. And so because of that, I really have to be in the mood for this. But man, do I love it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's really, really inexpensive too. I want to say it's like in the $25 range. Um, it's a beast. To me, I would categorize this as like a fresh incense fragrance. It's stunning. So anyways, that is Velvet Amber Oud from Rihanna. Such a beauty. Okay, next I have another Middle Eastern fragrance. This is Ragba from Latafa. And this is beautiful. This is sweet oud vanilla and incense it's like a i mean it's like a sweet vanilla incense with oud is really what it smells like um i love this so much the vanilla in this is just it's so deep and creamy and sweet and beautiful but then you've got the gorgeous oud in the base that gives it just, it's not overly, like the oud doesn't take over everything. It's just a, such a stunner of a fragrance. And the incense is really, really soft. It's not like an overly incensey fragrance. This is one of the ones that it's got incense in it, but, and you can definitely smell the incense, but it's not overpowering. It's just beautiful. I love this. This is one of my, and this is just one of those fragrances that I could not imagine not having in my collection. I don't wear this as often as I wish I could, only because my husband hates it so, so much. He really, really does not like this fragrance. And so even if I just spray it, like I just sprayed it in the house, he will probably be able to smell it when he comes in and he's gonna be like, ugh, you sprayed that. He just really doesn't like it, but man, I adore it. It's one of my favorites. So anyways, that is Latafa Ragba. Okay, next we have, this is a myrrh fragrance. So it's more of like a resinous, and I've got a couple in here like this. It's more of like a resinous fragrance rather than an incense, but resinous, incense, it's kind of, you get the same kind of feel. So I thought I would um, include a couple resinous fragrances, especially for those of you that don't love incense. So this is a fragrance from Be Layered, and this is called Mia's Blend. And 
This is so beautiful. This is myrrh and tonka bean, and I believe it's a clone of Joe Malone's myrrh and tonka. And, oh, it's beautiful. If you like myrrh, if you like a really beautiful, deep, resinous myrrh with a touch of sweetness, and if you like tonka bean, I think you would really like this. This is super warm, resinous, very slightly sweet, cozy fragrance. I love it. It's so beautiful. So that that one's called Mia's Blend. Again, that would be more for somebody that um, isn't really so much into incense, but still wants something warm and resinous smelling. Okay, next we have this is such a classic. This is really a this really is a very incensey fragrance to my nose though, and that is Shalimar from Guerlain. So this is Shalimar, the Eau de Toilette formulation. Um, I can't handle the Eau de Parfum formulation. It's just a little too much for me. A lot of time people refer to this as a vanilla fragrance, and I definitely get the vanilla in this, but this is such a, this is much more resinous smelling than vanilla. It's just beautiful. The Eau de Parfum is almost, is so resinous. I almost get that kind of burnt tire smell from it. I don't get that with the Eau de Toilette. Um, the Eau de Toilette is, it's just beautiful. It's warm. It's kind of old fashioned smelling. It's resinous. You definitely can smell the vanilla. It's herbaceous smelling, but mostly resinous. It's warm, it's very dark. It's just a really, really beautiful, classic resinous smelling fragrance. I would say this one is more resinous than incense-y, um, but it really is a gorgeous resinous fragrance. So anyways, that is Chalamar Eau de Toilette. I didn't feel like I could do a incense video or resin video without it. Okay, this next one is straight up church incense. It is so beautiful. Um, this is called Boda Fumiero from Corner Barcelona. This is true, sweet, smoky church incense. It is gorgeous. It's sweet, but without being too sweet. I feel like, I feel like as mine has aged, it has gotten sweeter. It definitely has. This has got a beautiful woodiness to it. It's woody, it's sweet, but it is like straight up church incense. It's on the lighter side. I wouldn't say it's like a super, super heavy fragrance, but it does get heavier as it warms on your skin. Um, this one is a little bit deceiving as it, when you first spray it on, it's pretty light and kind of sweet, a little bit woody, a little bit smoky but all in all straight up church incense. But as this one warms on the skin, it does get deeper. It begins to smell much more rich than what you sprayed on originally. It's just beautiful. If you're looking for a beautiful, sweet, straight up church incense fragrance, this is definitely the one. This one again is called Boda Fumiero from Carner Barcelona. And it's so funny, it's getting way sweeter as it ages. Okay, this next one is one that I picked this up back when it was like warm out last year. And it's one that I've had sitting around like needing to do a good full wear test of. And I never have. <laughs> um, I have tested on my hands and, oh my gosh, yeah, I have tested on my hands, but I've never given it a good full wear test. This is crazy incense -y though. This is from a house called Scent Bon and it is called Myrrh and Incense Mysterio. So it's basically myrrh and incense. So this one is both incense as well as resinous. Or should I say resinous incense fragrance. Um, this one, It's so sad. It's almost been so long that I don't even really remember what this smells like. I do remember it being quite dark and resinous smelling though. Oh yeah. Now this one, I mean, this one actually smells like a perfect mixture of a 
smoky dry incense and myrrh. Like you can smell both of them equally. Neither overpowers the other. Well, I feel like the incense does start to overpower the myrrh after a minute. So yeah, it does get quite intense. This might be the most intense incense fragrance that I have in my collection. It's, it's very, very strong and there's no sweetness in this one really. It's just like a really strong, rich, smoky incense. It's quite a powerful fragrance. It's really beautiful. I probably have not given this a full wear test because it needs to be cold <laughs> for something like this. This is very, this is like a cold weather fragrance. Um, and I think we're done with the really, really cold weather for now. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I will end up testing this this year or if I'll get around to wearing this this year or not, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. But if you're looking for like, wow, strong, deep, resinous incense, look no further. This is one of the deepest things I've got in my collection. Um, and again, it's called Myrrh and Incense Mysterio from Scent Bon. Okay, this next one, this is mostly a vanilla fragrance, but it's got a really beautiful incense note in it that I can smell out of the bottle as well as when I wear this. Um, this is from, this is a fragrance from Essential Parfums and it's called Divine Vani. You can pick these up at... You can pick these up at Lucky Scent. They're quite affordable for being niche and they're it's a big, huge bottle. Um, I love this. I forget about this fragrance. It is like a very slightly sweet vanilla, but it's got this beautiful resinous quality. It's like, it's just very delicate, sweet resins. In it and it's beautiful it doesn't overpower the vanilla it's almost like a sweet slightly incensey slightly resinous tobacco vanilla fragrance I really get like a tobacco vibe like a sweet tobacco vibe from this one but it is the the incense is really really soft and sweet and delicate in this one but it gives it a lot of body It gives the vanilla a lot of body. And this thing lasts forever. You can spray this on in the morning. It'll get you through an entire work day. It, it used to me anyways. So um, I have not worn this. I didn't wear this one single time this year. So I need to pull this out and give it some love because I have not worn it enough this year. So I'll keep this one out and give it some love before I put it away. But yeah, really, really beautiful. Kind of a delicate resinous vanilla. Um, and not like a delicate vanilla. It's actually quite a robust smelling vanilla, but the incense in it is very delicate and beautiful, um, which it really needs to be so it doesn't take away from the vanilla. So anyways, that is from Essential Parfums. That is called Divine Vini. Okay, this next one is a powerhouse of an incense fragrance. This is Matthew Meleg's Incense. This is one of my favorite incense fragrances. It's hands down the best quality incense fragrance I've got in my collection. This is very, very strong, resinous incense. I mean, there is no other word for it. This is one of those fragrances that like, if you have this, you will never need another incense in your life. This will fill all your incense. I mean, this will fulfill all your incense needs. This is beautiful. It's dark. It's not sweet. It's not like a sweet incense. It's like a dark resinous incense. It's as if you were, it's as if you were burning like a big lump of, of frankincense and myrrh and some sort of wood all together. That's what you get with this. Now he, he made this based on a recipe that was found on a temple wall in Egypt that is 2,500 years old. So he made this based on a recipe from 2,500 years ago. 
um, which I, it just sings to my little history heart. I love it so much. I think it's amazing that I'm smelling something that smells like something you could have gotten or that you would have worn as fragrance 2,500 years ago. It's just incredible to me. So anyways, that is incense from Matthew Melleg. That is an absolute powerhouse of an incense fragrance. This is one that is like spray it in the air and walk through it and you're going to smell like it for the rest of the day. It's that powerful. Um, it's yeah, you definitely don't need much of this one. Okay, next we have, <laughs> this is one of my favorites, and the incense note in this is so perfect. This is Mevlana from Untamed, and this fragrance is so many things, but it's another one of those that it just has the most beautiful, delicate incense note in it. It's present enough that you can smell it, but it's not so overpowering that it's taking away from all of the other beautiful notes, dried fruit, rose, Turkish coffee, Greek mastic. It's stunning. But in the center of it all is the most beautiful, delicate, resinous incense note. This perfume is such a work of art to me. Um, I love this. It's one of those that every time I wear it and every time I smell it, I get something different. Um, I just adore it. So anyways, yeah, this one again, this isn't like an overpowering incense fragrance, but it's got a really beautiful, delicate incense note in it. Um, so anyways, that is Untamed Mevlana. Next we have another vanilla fragrance, and this is another one. The incense to me in this one is a little bit more prominent than in Divine Vani. Um, this is Eau Duel from Diptyque. This is the Eau de Toilette formulation. I don't, this is more of like a resinous, it doesn't have an incense note in it, but it's got, this has got olibanum in it, which gives it this really beautiful resinous, quality. So, and that's how I would describe this one. I would definitely describe Eau Duel as a resinous vanilla because that's exactly what it is. It's, it's definitely much more resinous than the Divine Vini. This doesn't have any sweetness in it. So this one is more of like a Play-Doh smelling vanilla, but with a resinous quality to it. So, and that's exactly how I would describe it. It's it's kind of like a resinous, Play-Doh-y vanilla fragrance with almost no sweetness to it. It maybe has the slightest bit of sweetness, but not much at all. It's really beautiful. It's really a, quite a unique vanilla. Um, it's just quite a unique fragrance in my collection. I don't have anything else that smells like this, and it's gorgeous. It's just like a beautiful, late, resinous play-doh vanilla so anyways that is eau duel from diptyque the eau de toilette formulation okay next we have an incensey rose fragrance i i feel like i've been talking about this a lot recently um but this is club de nuit intense from armoff this is beautiful this is an incensey rose fragrance it's dark incense and sweet rose i love this fragrance I can't ever talk about this fragrance without talking about how it's a dead on ringer for Noir de Noir from Tom Ford. I mean, almost identical. And it's just beautiful. It's dark incense and rose is exactly what it is. It's a beast. It lasts absolutely forever. This is one of those fragrances that I really need to be in the mood to wear it because if I spray it on, I'm going to be stuck with it for the entire day. Oh, I love it so much though. This is one of the fragrances in my collection that I feel like is like the best value for money. Um, you can find bottles of this for like around $25. And oh my gosh, the quality and yeah, just the quality and the way that this smells, it's worth every bit of $25. It smells so much more expensive than it actually is. But yeah, really beautiful, sweet, resinous, incense -y rose fragrance. 
So anyways, that is Club de Nuit Intense from our moth. And last but not least, we have a police fragrance. This is a very affordable fragrance. This is called Police Dark. And the liquid of this, like my liquid has darkened up so much more than it even was when I first got it. It's like crazy dark liquid. This is another kind of vanilla fragrance. This one's to me, when I first got this, it smelled a lot like Midnight Shimmer from Michael Kors. But the longer I've had it and the more that it has, I guess, sat and aged, it's deepened up quite a bit. So it's not quite as sweet anymore. And I don't know, it's just changed a little bit, but really in, in a good way. This is another one that it's just got a very light, it's got like a very light resinous quality to it, not necessarily like an incense or smoky incense. It's more of like a resinous, like a sweet resinous quality to it. I don't know, it's really beautiful. It's got vanilla in it. I think it's got some fruits in the top, maybe some plum. I can't remember. It's got some fruits in the top. It's just really, really nice. And it's funny, as it, as it ages, it gets harder for me to kind of detect what I'm smelling. I don't know, but it's kind of like a, it's like a sweet, light, slightly resinous vanilla fragrance. It's really beautiful. Um, I need to give this one a good wear test again because I haven't worn it since I um, first bought it. And I, it's changed. It's changed a lot since I first got it. So anyways, that is Police Dark. That's one of the more, um, this is one of the more like light, beginner friendly, um, very delicate kind of resinous type fragrances on this list for sure. So anyways, guys, those are a bunch of my favorite incense and resinous fragrances in my collection. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.